What's going on everybody? Got a tutorial today and uh, it's going to be for the Nintendo Wii and I'm going to show you how to replace the laser in your disk drive. Um, if you're not sure how to get to this point where I'm at right now with this or it's at like this, I'm going to put a link in the description uh, to another tutorial which will show you how to open your Wii console. Uh, so check that out first if you haven't gotten here or you don't know how and then you can come back to this one. So let's go ahead and get started here. First we're going to flip this over and uh, we're going to go ahead and take these two screws out which take Phillips head bits Set those aside. All right. For now we're going to go ahead and loosen this ribbon up. What you got to do is you got to pull this little thing back. The little plastic piece kind of pulls back, and then that ribbon pops out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and loosen this one. This one's not very easy to get out though, so we're just going to loosen it for now, and that that'll be sufficient for what I need to do with it in a minute. Uh, there's another one here, but that one again is kind of hard. You can try to go ahead and take it out, but you run the risk of pinching it and. Uh, cutting it off so I wouldn't really recommend it. The next thing we're going to do is this kind of will, is going to slide out. Now what you got to do since we left the uh, other ribbons in there, some of these ribbons are going to kind of come out as we take this out. Um, so that's how that's going to work. Now first I'm going to go ahead and get this loosened up a little bit. Kind of get some play in there. You're not really going to be able to take it out, but you can get it off of some of these little clamps and stuff to give you a little bit extra room to work with. Because again, that's not going to come out right away. Alright. As you can see, it is kind of loose, but you just got to be careful. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a uh, flathead screwdriver bit put in. And we're going to kind of try to work this out a little bit as we go and it's clipped down here so if you want you can unclip it down underneath which will give you even more room to work with and will make this a lot easier to pop this baby out just like that as you can see now we've got a lot more ribbon and it's going to be easy after you get a hold of it and just pop that ribbon out all right, now we can start trying to loosen this up, which will give us room to try to take this uh, laser cable out, just like that. That's why we loosen that up first, so we can go ahead and get it out of the way. Now we're going to try to work some of these cables out. We'll start with this one. kind of runs along a little track here, so you just want to kind of work with it. You'll see how it kind of fits all in there. Same thing goes for this other one. It kind of works around in a little track, so you're going to kind of work the ribbons out and around every little part of it. This first one is going to be the hardest one because it's just it's put in there pretty well. If you need to, use this little tool, but don't get too rough because you could damage and uh, poke through the wires and everything, so just be careful. This one's in there really good, so I'm having to take out each little wire individually out of this first part of the track. Alright, there's that part. Now we can work it out of this one, out of this one. Alright, now we got that exposed. Um, as you can see, there's a little screw right here, so we're going to go ahead and take that out. Now you do want to be careful here too after you pull this off. You don't want to just rip it right out of there um, because you can rip this out. Okay. So what we're going to do next, <coughs> you see it's got some play to it now, but it's still not quite ready to come out. can't just uh, pop it right out because uh, what it is is there's 
see if I can get a good angle right here, right here, and right here, and right here, and let's see where's and right here. There's these little clips, and they kind of go over a little plastic piece. So what you got to do is you got to pry each one of those out. And a good way to do that is with a little flathead screwdriver again. So you can got that one popped out. Now I'm going to get this one. Kind of bend this ribbon out of the way so I don't accidentally cut it or something. I'll try to pop this one out. And actually you can do it from underneath too, but do it like that. Same thing with these ones in the back. What you do is you come right here and find a little place and you just kind of pry it out slightly. Like so. And now as we flip this over you'll see this is completely loose. Now we're just going to be careful here. This tape is really strong that holds this on here. And if you try to rip at it, you can rip the actual ribbon. So just lightly, very lightly, get that tape and peel it back some more. And I just stick it right back on here. Now that'll slide off. <clears throat> Alright, now we got the actual guts opened up here. As you can see, the laser moves freely and everything. So what we're going to do is now we're going to go ahead and switch back over to a Phillips head. And we're going to take out this screw right here. Sorry about that, guys. You're going to see some choppiness. I filled up my uh, SD card again. So uh, let's get started. I hadn't quite gotten this laser pushed out yet, and this is one of the more difficult parts of it, so you're going to have to kind of bear with me. It's not going to be very easy to see. Um, now the way this works is this bar is what you have to get out of here, but you have to do it just right. So what we're going to do is on this side of the bar, we're going to pry it and push it that way so we can wedge it out of what holds it. So we're using a flathead screwdriver to kind of pry it out of the way. and try to get it out of this hole, which is easier said than done by far. And that's what I was trying to do off camera a little bit ago. I was trying to kind of adjust it so I can go ahead and get it worked out. And you don't have to sit here and watch me do it, but this one's being a big, big pain. main thing is you got to figure out how to get there we go got it popped out of there so now what we're going to have to do is um, we're going to have to kind of see it kind of pops out of there see how that little bar is kind of popped out of there got to slide it out like that now we're going to pull the laser and it'll kind of pop right off just like that Okay, not too difficult, but it is a little more tricky than the typical laser setup, and uh, I remember the first time I ever did this, I sat here for about an hour fooling with it until I realized how it all worked. Um, so anyways, we're going to pretend like we're putting the new laser in here, even though this is the same laser. Um, what you got to do is you got to make sure and put this this in, in there first in on the bar, and then push that down on there. Now you're going to get this bar lined back up and push back in there. And then you want to get it shoved all the way as far as you can this way. Okay. And that's pretty much it for getting that replaced uh, besides just putting it back together and all that, which is just basically reversing your steps. Um, so anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I hope this was helpful. Um, if you'd like, you can subscribe to the YouTube page, or you can uh, like the video. Just anything, uh, anything at all that helps me out, I'd appreciate it. Um, 
And until next time, guys.